Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be talking about Google News in Spain. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Hey, good afternoon, Chad. Welcome to the Brown Bag. We've been covering Google and the various legislative actions that have been happening in Europe for quite a while, Chad. It seems like Europe has been out in the forefront in challenging some of Google's power uh, in the marketplace, um, you know, seeing them somewhat monopolistic and encroaching on people's rights. You know, we covered a while ago the desire for some people to be forgotten and how Europe is uh, taking that on and trying to give some people control. Things that I think we mostly agree would just not happen in the U.S. Well, the, the latest chapter in the story is around Google News, particularly in Spain and you know the backdrop here as we've been talking about for a long time years really is that traditional news outlets have really been struggling to adapt to this new internet based publishing model the old days of papers delivered to your doorstep with subscriptions of course are dying if not mostly dead and Google of course has stepped in to become the source we, you know Twitter as well and some other outlets but really Google the main source that people go to as their Rolodex so once again we have a challenge in Europe this uh, legislation happening in, happening in Spain where they're starting to say Google you cannot use this content in your Google News uh, product and so this love-hate relationship over in Europe just seems to get more and more interesting, Chad. As we know, the publishers you know, despise Google, but at the same time need Google because that's how they're getting their readers. And Google, of course, needs high-quality content to put on their search engines so they can drive revenue from ads. So in reaction to this legislation coming out of Spain saying, Google, you're no longer allowed to aggregate, and I don't think they specifically targeted Google. They just said aggregators in general, but I, I do think the backdrop is to focus on Google. Well, Google has called their bluff and has said, fine, we'll discontinue Google News in Spain. And they're going to take it down, remove all Spanish publishers from their Google News and their Google News product entirely, and they will not show up in the results. So this big move happening. Chad, what can you tell us about why this is so important? Well, yeah, the legislation specifically said, it wasn't so much they said that Google had to, rem that Google had to you know, not sh couldn't show news publications. It said that Google had to pay um, the the publishers that it was aggregating its content. So it had to essentially pay them some revenue for using their information. And in this particular case, Google said, "Look, we don't make money off of this. Therefore, we're not going to pay, and we're just going to simply remove these Spanish publishers." Now, of course, a lot of people say. Google, of course, makes money off of it, maybe not directly, but by having such great content in Google, they can sell advertising in a lot of different ways um, and, of course, make um, a lot of money from, from advertising, just maybe not directly off of their Google News product, but it's a critical part of Google overall. So, um, you know, I think that really what, what basically the difference here and why this is happening in Spain and not some of the, the, the rest of Europe is that Spain has said there is no waiver so a publisher cannot waive their right to be paid for content. They must be paid, which seems kind of crazy, but um, because it seems like people should always be able to waive and get some sort of structure, some deal. But in this case, they said no. Um, probably, I guess, to stand up to some of these publishers like Google who have a lot of power, uh, and and that's why this has you know, come to, to bear here in Spain. Now, the the AEDE, which is the Spanish Newspaper Publishing Association. Um, is basically now urging Google um, to help, you know, to to change, to try to change its mind, um, and basically saying that, um, you know, that that they um, they were now they were of course were a very big part of the people who actually passed this legislation in the first place. But now now Google's called their bluff. They're looking to work with the government to give publishers some way to opt out and to still keep their publications in the Google News feed. So I think that this is going to continue to roll out in Europe. It definitely seems to be. Um, shut down for the most part in the U.S. Google's probably done a very good job from a lobbying standpoint, but but uh, for whatever reason, Google in Europe, and we've heard this many times, actually has a bigger percentage of the market and is even a bigger force. And of course, their U.S. company was such a large influence in Europe, it's really rubbing the European um, legislators kind of the wrong way. So um, we'll see what happens here. This could be just a power play, or it could be the beginning of you know, some, some big changes in the way that people are doing business in Europe.
Yeah, Jed, I, I find it fascinating. I think it's up there with the case around being forgotten out of the search engine, challenging the permanence, again, ultimately challenging the power and potentially monopolistic position that Google's in. You know, this one is challenging this sort of implicit relationship between a free internet but an advertised, advertising-driven internet isn't exactly free and who's benefiting from that, which you know we've been you know, tracking that shifting dramatically over the last five to seven years. So this is going to continue to be very fascinating. It seems like Europe is con going to continue to be the hotbed of where this stuff starts and legislation starts to challenge. As you said, I think it's it, we probably won't see it here in the U.S., not in the foreseeable future, but who knows, trends do change. Well, that's our coverage of the Google News, Spanish Google News, Spain legislation that's come out. Very interesting stuff. Thanks for joining us in the brown bag. We'd love to see you back real soon for another video. Go ahead and hit subscribe.